Hello, this is Marvelyn Brown, and today I am uh, taking you through the second major part of uh, getting our blog set up. So in the first video, I actually walked through, you know, setting up your domain, um, choosing a host, which we have chosen Bluehost, and um, setting up an account on Bluehost. So now we're ready to install our theme. We've actually, I actually did another video that kind of walks you through you know, looking at your receipt, looking at your login information. Um, if you didn't see that video, the main takeaway from that is that you want to make sure that you have looked at your welcome to Bluehost email. So when you signed up, you know, when you made your account and you signed up with Bluehost, they sent you a welcome to Bluehost email to the email that you used during the sign up process. So you want to make sure that you look at that, make sure everything is accurate. Uh, the video walks you through looking at that receipt and then also making sure that you have that customer service number in case you need to contact Bluehost. If your receipt doesn't look right, make sure you contact Bluehost so that they can get you on the right track. So now we're ready to install our theme. And the theme that I recommend is Thrive Suite. So I've also done another video that walks through what Thrive Suite is. A lot of people haven't heard of it. So it's really an all-in-one sales and marketing toolkit in addition to a theme. So if you haven't seen that video, I would recommend looking at that video as well so that you understand everything that you get with Thrive uh, Suite. Because, you know, you can pay separately for all those things that you're going to get, or you can just get everything in one place um, is all developed by the same company and so you only have one company to follow up with if you have any kinds of issues um, there are just so many different benefits to using this product and i've used it for a number of years on all my i think all my sites um, utilize thrive suite so that's what i'm recommending for our um, series so i'm going to walk you through getting all of that set up so the first step is because our site is not set up, we can't just go out to our site and log in to WordPress. We have to kind of get a few things set up so that we can, um, you know, have our site ready to go. So you want to go to bluehost.com. That's the first step. And you're going to be on this page. This is kind of where we started. Now you're going to have, though, you're going to have a login. So you want to be able to log in to your Bluehost account using the information that you set up, um, you know, yesterday or in the previous video. So you want to go ahead and log in. I'm going to pause this video while I log in, and then uh, we will come back and I will take you over to the Thrive Suites website. So just one moment, and I will be right back. Okay, so now I have logged in and I'm on the um, I'm in the Bluehost portal. So this is how we are going to get to our site until we get everything kind of up and running and we have a basic site that people can come to and take a look at. So the name of your site should be here, and then there's a button right here that says log into WordPress. So let's click on that button. And that should take us to our WordPress back office. And that's where we left off on our previous video. So now the, the thing that you want to take away from this is that your site is not quite ready. There's a coming soon page that is showing if someone were to go to your site right now, um, they would see that coming soon page, which is fine. That just tells them that, you know, your site is coming, you know, be ready because it's coming and it'll be here soon. So now the thing that we want to do, we're in our um, WordPress back office. Now we want to go to thrivethemes.com. So thrivethemes.com. And I have already logged in. Actually, I'm going to log out because I want to take you, just kind of show you how this works. Okay, so you're at the Thrive Themes website. And... Okay, so this is the Thrive Things website. This is what it looks like, you know, if you're not logged in, if you are just someone who is um, checking this out for the first time. So hopefully you have watched the video that walks you through 
uh, what Thrive Themes is, what it does, and how it can help your business. Now, if you haven't, I will put a link to that below this video, or you'll also see it if you're taking the course, you will be able to see this uh, previous video. Um, there'll be a link to it in the course as well. So hopefully you have watched that and you have signed up as a Thrive Themes member. Now, if you haven't, I'm going to, um, let me just kind of take you through just real quickly. And then if you want the details, you can go to the other video. But basically this gives you the theme. So the theme that we talked about in you know one of the previous videos, this is a theme and it gives you lots of different options. So many different options. It's not, um, it's just, it's hard to believe all the options that you have for your site. So this is what you can do with Thrive Suite or Thrive Themes. Build your website. You can create landing pages and funnels. You can create an email list. You can do quizzes. You can create and sell courses. You can do scarcity campaigns. You can connect this to, there are so many different applications, plugs in, plugins and services that connect to Thrive uh, Suite. And then, you know, th these are all the people that, you know, this was really created for. So whether you are a consultant or you want to create courses or maybe you want to be, you know, an affiliate or maybe you want to have an e-commerce business, maybe you're a blogger, you know, and that's what this site is about, blogging. Um, all of these things are available to you with uh, Thrive Suite. And so if you want to get it, you can sign up for it and I will take you over to the page where you can sign up. So let me just, I mean, there's so much information here. I could be on this video for like two hours. So if you want to get the yearly plan, it's $2.99 annually, which comes out to about $25 a month. And if you want to pay for it quarterly, it's $99 per quarter. And so you have to kind of weigh out, you know, which option will work best for you. And once you do that, you will be able to just click on this buy now button and that will, you know, enable you to buy the product. So that's pretty much it. Now, if hopefully you are making that decision and you bought, you know, Thrive uh, Themes, the Thrive Themes membership. So then once you do that, you are going to be able to log in. You just click on that button that says member login and then you log into your account now i'm going to pause this i will log in and then i will be back okay so now i'm back i'm logged in and now i am ready to access the products so because i have used this product before i have already taken step one and that is to download and install the thrive product manager plugin so I'm also going to pause this video. I'm gonna get my version um, that I already have downloaded on my computer of the Thrive Product Manager plugin. But what I want you to do is I want you to click on this link and then you're gonna be able to download this uh, Product Manager plugin and then we will walk through getting it installed on your site. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and I'm going to get my version of the product manager and I will be back. I will meet you back in our uh, WordPress back office. This is where we are going to start the video at uh, once I get, you know, this downloaded. So go ahead and download it for your site and I will see you there. Okay, so I have found my um, plugin, my product plugin, and now I'm ready to install it. So. What we're gonna do, all of your navigation for your WordPress back office, most of it is located here on the left-hand side. So we wanna go all the way down to plugins, and then we want to go to add new. So click on that. And then we are going to, and actually I don't want, I wanna add a new plugin, so. I thought I clicked on add new, but I guess I didn't. So let me um, click on add new. Then we're gonna click on upload plugin.
Okay, all of this stuff is just so confusing. All these little buttons up here. So we're going to click on browse. I apologize. We're going to click on browse. And then we are going to go to, um, I saved mine in my download folder. And here we are, Thrive Product Manager. So we're going to click on that and we're going to click on open. Now we're going to say install now. So not upload plugin. I do apologize for that. I know this is really confusing probably. Okay, so now we've unpacked the package. We're installing the plugin. Plugin installed successfully. So now it's been installed. Now we have to activate it. So we're going to click on this blue activate button. And then once it's been activated, then we are going to, and you see all these things that just keep popping up that might be kind of confusing. I try to click out of, okay, so it says plugin activated. So I'm going to click out of that and we're going to ignore some of this other stuff. So now we've got our um, Thrive Product Manager um, installed. You can see it right here. Um, and then for SEO, just kind of a quick note, for SEO, we're not going to use Yoast. Um, you're welcome to use Yoast if you would like, but I have another product that I think works a lot better. So we'll get to that later. But just I saw that and I thought I would just kind of let you know that this is not the option that we're going to use, at least during this tutorial. If you like Yoast and you want to stick with it, no problem. So now we've got our product manager installed. We're going to go here to the sidebar. We're not going to mess with it here. I just wanted to make sure that it was, you know, showing up. And so now we're going to go to this sidebar and we're going to click on product manager. And then we're going to connect to thrivethemes.com to access our product. So we're going to go back to thrivethemes.com through WordPress by clicking on this green button. Okay, so now um, everything has been successfully collect, uh, connected. I've got all of my Thrive products here. And look at all the, the things that you get with Thrive themes. You get Thrive leads, Clever Widgets, Headline Optimizer, the quiz builder, Ovation, Ultimatum, Apprentice, where you can uh, make courses, your Thrive Architect, which is where you make those great looking pages, Comments, Automator, and Optimize. So these are all the products that we have installed. Okay, so everything is, um, Let's see, which products would you like to install and license? Oh, so we have another step. So we're going to click on select all. And we're going to install the theme as well. All right, so we've got everything selected. We want all of these products to work. So we're going to select everything. And then we're going to install these products. So apologizes, um, I apologize for that as well. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I am just like not able to talk. So while this is processing, um, let's just go over and take a look at Thrive Themes. Now you've probably already, you know, familiarized yourself with it, but this is a great all-in-one toolkit and I think you are really going to love it. The thing that you want to do with your site, and this is kind of like a first um, maybe mini training, um, you want visitors. So you want traffic. You want to drive traffic to your site, you know, using a, a lot of different methods. I think the best way to really drive traffic to your site is by creating useful information, things that people in your audience are going to want to get. You know, whether it's a reference document or something funny or something, you know, that entertains them or makes them feel happy, something that solves a problem for them. You know, there's so many different options that you have, but you want visitors to your site. And then once someone becomes a visitor, you want to turn that visitor into a lead. And then once someone is a lead, you want them to make that progression to become a customer. 
And when someone becomes a customer, that is not the end of the journey. You want repeat customers. And so because of that, you wanna manage your customers so that you can have raving fans. So this suite, is it's got all of these tools. Just think about it. All of these tools are available to you now. Um, and they are going to enable you to build an amazing site. And that is why I recommend this for um, anyone that I work with, because there is nothing that you can't do, you know, with all of these tools. And they're all developed by the same developer. So it's not like, um, oh, let's see, some of the products could not be installed and register. Please try again. Okay, so let's see what products could not be registered. Looks like they're still processing. Maybe I shouldn't have, I may not need to activate the theme builder at the same time that I activate the other product. So you know what, I'm just going to go to the themes dashboard because maybe that is the issue the the, um, the Thrive uh, dashboard. And actually I'm gonna go back to the product manager And I'm going to, okay, so the ones that have been installed, say ready to use, I'm going to activate the apprentice product. And then I will activate the, uh, the theme and see if maybe that, okay, so that was activated successfully. And so now I'm going to go to the Thrive Themes dashboard. And I'm gonna go back to that product manager to make sure that all of my uh, plugins and everything were, um, were installed. So if that happens to you, just um, what I would recommend doing is that you just install the plugins first and then install your theme. So now let's go back to Product Manager. Make sure that all of these say ready to use. Okay, so all of this is ready to use. Now I may need to um, activate my theme. So let's see what happens. All right, so it was activated successfully. So I think I'm good to go. So now we're going to go back to the dashboard and I think we will be ready to start installing uh, Thrive Themes. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install. Okay, so this is great because it automatically takes you to the, um, the installation wizard. So this walks you through setting up your site and then once you're done with that your site is good to go and you can also you know start adding the bells and whistles and we're going to walk through that as well but this is the quick theme so this is a this is the newest theme that thrive has come up with and they um made this so that it goes quickly it, it, it basically is optimized to speed up your site and that's one of the things that is going to uh, be a ranking factor. Believe it or not, Google, you know, wants your site to be, number one, Google wants their customer experience to be amazing. And so if someone lands on your site and they have to wait forever for your site to load, then that's not a good customer experience. And so Thrive created this quick um, theme that enables you to have a site that goes quickly. Even though you have all of this functionality, your site will be designed for quickness. So I'm just gonna choose this one and we're gonna go with that. Shapeshift is great. I've used that on, um, I use that on my InnerWord business services site. And then I've also used Ami as well. And it just really depends on your preference as to how you want your site to look. But I want this site to be fast and I have never used this quick, uh, theme so this will be a learning experience for me as well so it's doing its thing and then um you know for whatever reason my site is going a little bit slow so just kind of hang in there so now we're going to set up the site so you can just click on get started 
Now, I don't have a logo for my site yet. Um, so if you don't have a logo, I would just say um, you can skip this for now because I don't have one. We'll just have this. This will be our placeholder logo until we get one installed or not installed, but until we design one. So then your brand color. I don't even know what my brand colors are going to be. I'm just going to say, um, I'll use maybe a bluish color, something bluish, maybe more like a, I don't really like that one. Okay. I'll just keep it at that. So then we're choosing our brand color, our main brand color. You can always come back and change these things later. But for now, we're just going to get our site set up. And you can see in this little left hand panel, um, you know, as we go through each step, you'll see us go through each step on this left hand panel. So now we have our logo menu. This can be a call to action. It can be our logo in the middle. And then this is our menu. Um, I am going to see all the different options that I have available. I kind of like a larger, um, I kind of like a larger menu with my logo on the left hand side. That's just me. And then I like my call to action. I like to have a call to action button. So I'm going to choose, let's see. And I also like to give my, um, I like to give my visitors a kind of a menu going across the top. So let's see. Hmm. Call to action. I don't really see. This is nuts. Okay, default header. Call to action. I don't like that one either. So guess what? I'm just going to pick something. Um, I guess I'll use that one. I don't really like that one, but I'll use it just for the sake of this video. And then I'll do something different later. Okay, so now we're going to choose and continue. And then now we're going to select our footer. So I'm going to see what options are available. I don't really care for that one. Um, let's see. I think I kind of like this format, so I'll use that one. And this is the thing. All of this can be changed at a later date. So this is just getting us started. Now, what do you want to display on your home page? You can choose from ready-made home pages. You can, okay, we don't have an existing page. Display your blog as your home page. So I think I'm going to choose from a ready-made home page. So this is our main home page here. Why work with us? Um... Wow, it's got a lot of stuff on there for sure. Let's see if there's some other pages that I might like better. Desired outcome in less time than you can imagine. Services to help you achieve. Uh, hmm. service business and you know I really think that mine is going to be a product focused let me just see what that looks like and then I'll go from there I would rather have a product focused home page and it's taking forever for them to load because my site is going really slow there's also home pages for a local business you can also do personal branding so if you want to brand yourself, you can do that. 
Um, so a lot of this just really depends on the kind of business that you have. And so I am going to focus mine, um, as I said, on my product. So product focused, is there anything else product focused? Here's another product focused um, page. Content focused, okay. And this one is also product focused. So I think, see, and this is the thing with me, it takes me forever sometimes to make a decision. I get stuck in analysis paralysis. So I'm gonna use this one just for the sake of this um, video. So now we're ready to continue. Title banner without sidebar. So this is going to be what our posts are going to look like. And I don't like that. I like to have a sidebar. So we're definitely going to have a sidebar on, um, let's see, featured image without a sidebar, box post with a sidebar. I like the sidebar on the right hand side if possible. Okay, so there's one, but that looks a little plain. Here's a video post. I like that. I like video and audio posts because um, I think I like this one the best. Featured image with sidebar. I'm going to click on that one. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to move on. The next thing is um, how do I want the pages to look? So this is the grid layout without a sidebar. And I think the pages, I think I definitely want my pages to, um, and actually this is not for pages. This is for my blog post list. So how do I want my blog, um, my blog post list to be laid out? And so let's see what they have to offer. I think I like this. So we'll choose that and move right along. Okay, so now we're gonna choose and continue. And uh, we're gonna fix these up, you know, a little bit later. Main accent, okay, so this is how our pages are gonna look. So I wanna definitely check that out. I don't know that I want that colored bar across the top. I think I like uh, call to action banner, call to action banner, simple title. Title and breadcrumbs banner, title banner. And this is the thing with Thrive Themes, you have so many different options for your pages. So um, it's not really that big of a deal if you want to just choose something really simple and then you can fix it the way you want it later. Hmm. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to choose um, call to action banner and move right along. Okay, so now we need to choose menus. Now, I don't have a... Um, I do want to activate menus on my site, but I don't have any menus already set up. And I'm assuming that, um, okay, so now this has been uh, completed. So now if we want to preview, let's just take a look at our site. Okay, so this is what our site is going to look like. When people land on our site, this is what they're going to see. And we can, you know, we're going to walk through fixing this the way that we want it. And this is the great thing. You can make your site however 
you would like. And so, but this gives us a great starting point and um, it enables us to move ahead to the next video where we will start looking at some of the plugins. We'll look at some of the options that we have for our pages and then we'll go from there. But as you can see, you know, it's been about a half an hour. We've gone through quite a bit um, in this video, but we have our site. It's basically ready to go. We need to, you know, design a logo. We need to make sure that we know what we're going to be using for our navigation. So this is where you really start thinking about, you know, your call to action. What do you want people to do when they land on your site? What action do you want them to take? I've decided that I want my site to feature a product. So I'm going to, you know, find a product that I can feature on this main page. And then, you know, that automatically tells people what your site is about. You want, when someone lands, you want them to know what you want them to do. And then you want them to understand more about your company, you know, a little bit of, you know, who you are, what you do, how to contact you, all of that stuff. And then if you have any testimonials, you definitely want to put them, you know, front and center. Um, you can also have any of your pricing options. You can have a little bit of information about you. So you'll want to find a nice picture of yourself. It doesn't have to be a formal, you know, sitting um, picture, you know, something natural that kind of lets people know who you are and you know the desired outcome you want to give people a desired outcome so what when they walk away from your service or your product or your company you know what is the desired outcome so start thinking about those things and then on the next video we're going to walk through filling in some of this information so thank you for watching thank you for um you know going through this whole process and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.